hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to see you in today's new video so today is a weekend and i'll be trading with otc currency pairs and remember that these currency pairs only appear on the weekend and at night time so i'll be trading with these otc currency pairs combining them with the bollinger indicator so if you do not know about the bollinger indicator today i'll be teaching you how to use this indicator to find signals to enter the trade i'll be also combining with the technical analysis because this indicator only supports technical analysis and not fundamental analysis so i've received so many questions from you guys i received so many comments and i'm always glad to receive all these comments and all these questions and i always answer them if you have any question i always try to answer them and find time for them also i invite you to my private chat in telegram channel so this private chat i always post their trading signals and we also discuss about crypto news also crypto trading and also i post their my trading charts so if you want to join this private chat i left a link down below this link is a link to my personal chat write me with the code word money team and then i'll be able to add you to this private chat as well so that you can be able to learn more about crypto trading and also make some money so thank you so much for watching this channel so i would like to show you how to use this indicator today so let's get into our very first trade for today so hi everyone so as i said at the beginning of this video i'll be trading with the bollinger bands using the otc currency pairs so today is a day of course today is a weekend and usually otc currency pairs are made available during this time and also at night time so these currency pairs are usually either pre-recorded by the broker or they're generated by the platform so that you can be able to trade during this time so these currency pairs they only support technical analysis they do not support fundamental analysis which makes it easy to be able to trade with indicators like bollinger bands so i would like to show you how to activate this indicator to activate this indicator i need to click this button and then i'll choose bollinger from the list of indicators so on the chart it has already appeared but i need to set it a little so this is the settings menu and in the upper one it will be 14 and 2 for the lower one so i have saved it and now i'm ready to begin my trading on the chart you can see the bollinger bands which will help me determine price borders when price is approaching the brand of this indicator it means that price will move in the opposite direction very soon and also this indicator you can see has a moving average which can also be the support line or the resistance line for uptrend or downtrend and you can also rely on them to open up trades and down trades of course bollinger bands like any other indicator can be wrong or they can have errors so you need to always perform and conduct technical analysis first which is usually support level and resistance level so you need to look at these levels first and you need to watch everything so today i'll try to find similar situations as well and trade so that you can be able to learn with this indicator and also there is another situation in which you can be able to use this indicator this is when the price is impulsively exiting the band of the indicator this signals that anytime soon that price will get back to the previous range so you will have to open a trade in the opposite direction so i would like to begin my trading today so that i can show you how to use this indicator in different situations and so let's start with our very first situation right now so analyzing this situation you can see that price is impulsively trending to the level of support so i think i'll open an up trade for one minute here because price has hit the bottom and the candles are moving along the very band of this indicator so let's wait for the retracement and wait for the results of this trade and see so analyzing this situation the price pulled back up and this situation has brought me very good profit so i need to find another situation to trade on so in this other situation price is trending towards the band of the indicator and it is the level of resistance here on the chart well i'll enter the market with a down trade for one minute because the price is likely to pull back down after impulsive trade up which usually happens as in other situations so let's wait and see the results of this trade
Well, looking at this trade, price pulled back down and I've got the profit from this situation. And I determined the upper part of the price very well. But let me continue and find another situation. So this is another situation. The price has trended up and pushed the band of the indicator. So I'll enter the market with a down trade for one minute because a retracement or a pullback down will likely occur after such a strong trade upwards. And as you can see, the red candle has already appeared. So let me wait for the results of this trade. So analyzing this situation, price has pulled back down and I've got the profit from my trade. So let me go on and find another situation to trade on. So in this situation, price is already impulsively trending to the upper band of the indicator. This is a level of resistance. So I enter the market with a down trade for one minute, awaiting a pullback downwards, which will happen very soon. So let me wait for the results of this trade and see. Well, analyzing the situation, the small flat zone appeared and the price rolled back down. And anyways, I managed to get my profit from this trade. So let me go on with my trading. Well, here from the support level, I can see price rolled back up with a good impulsive candlesticks. And it hit the upper border of the indicator. And the red candle is now appearing. So in this case, I'll enter the market with a down trade for two minutes because the general trend is getting lower and as you can see price maximum is also getting lower so let me wait for the result of this trade and see Well, looking at this trade, I accurately determined the upper border of this trade and price really went down and I've got my profit. So let me continue trading. So here price has impulsively exited the borders of this indicator and the green candle is appearing. So I'll enter the market with an up trade for one minute only because I'm sure the price will pull back because this is the inner support level from which the reaction up is occurring. And I think one minute will be enough here. So let me wait for the results of this trade and see. So analyzing this trade, price pulled back up as I said, and I've got the profit. So the indicator was correct here again, and I determined the lower band so if you see such movements are very likely to occur a lot in the market and it usually means you have to open a trade in the opposite direction. So let's continue and find another situation. So this is another situation and this is a downtrend and the price is hitting the upper band of this indicator. So I'll enter the market with a downtrend for two minutes because this is a downward movement and the price maximum is becoming lower and this situation the price is likely to trend down so i opened the price with a margin in case there will be a small flat so let's wait and see the results of this trade so analyzing this trade price resumed movement down and i have got my profit thanks to the indicator so i'd like to continue and find another situation so here you can observe that there was a flat and the impulse upwards occurred to the upper band of this indicator from which the red candle is appearing. So I entered the market with a down trade for two minutes with a margin and I wait for the results of this trade and the prices with the margin in case there is a small flat which will occur and maybe uh, movement downwards will continue. So let's wait until the results of this trade. Well, analyzing the situation, price trended down and a little bit up as a breakout of the level. 
the indicator was correct again and it helped me determine the upper border of the price so let me continue here you can observe the price pull back to the upper border of this indicator and price trend is going down and price will trend to the lower level so i think i'll enter the market with a down trade for two minutes because I think this time will be enough here despite the margin in case there will be a flat. So let's wait and see the results of this trade. Well, analyzing the situation, price trended down and I've got the profit from this transaction. Even though there has been a roll back upwards. But let me continue and find another situation to trade on. Well, this situation looks similar to the last. This is a trend down and this is a level of support from which there has been a roll back upwards to internal resistance level where price is also now starting to pull back down so i entered the market with the down trade for two minutes expecting downward movement to continue because the general trend of the price is going down and price maximum is also getting lower so let me wait and see the results of this trade Well, analyzing the situation, price trended down to the level of support and I've got the profit from this transaction again. So let me continue and go on. Well, this is a downtrend after a small flat and the moving average of this indicator, this is a downtrend line where the price is bouncing and trending down and there is still a distance to support level and the price is bouncing to the moving average and there is a high chance that price will be trending down so i entered the market with a down trade for two minutes and i'll wait for the results of this trade so analyzing this trade price impulsively trended down to this level and i have got my profit which is very good so let me continue and find another situation to trade on so here there was the impulsive roll back to resistance level and the price has exited the indicator band and i'll enter the market with a down trade for one minute and you can see the red candlestick is appearing right now and it's very likely to be a small pullback down but let's wait and see the results of this trade well analyzing this trade price rolled back down and i've got my profit from this transaction so if you find such moments in the market you can really make very good market on them because such situations usually repeat themselves and they usually work out very well. So let me continue and find another situation to trade on. So this is another situation and it's the down trade. Price rolled back up and hit the inner band of this indicator and the red candle is appearing. So I'm entering the market for two minutes with a down trade and wait for the results of this trade. So analyzing this trade, price really trended downwards. Even though this level isn't broken through, but in any case, I managed to get my profit from this trade. So let me continue and find another situation to trade on. Well, you can notice that I didn't change the currency pair, but I waited for some time. Price has now broken through this level, as you can see and gone down and right now so i will enter the market with an up trade for one minute because a small green candlestick is appearing and retracement is likely to occur here so let me wait for the results of this trade and see
Well, analyzing this trade, I can see that price rolled back up a little and I've got the profit from this transaction. One minute was really chosen correctly and the indicator really showed that the price was moving at the lower band. And now my balance, as you can see, is $3,200. And I think I'll open the last transaction for today. So let me find another situation that is good to trade on. So this is another situation and price is impulsively trending upwards to the upper border of the indicator. And this is the inner level resistance. And right now price is fading. So I'll enter the market for one minute with a downtrade because I'm awaiting the small pullback down. In this situation, it's similar to other situations I've traded on today, as you can see. So it goes on to show you that all situations repeat themselves in the market. So let me wait for the results of this trade. Well, analyzing this trade, price really rolled back down and I've got the profit from this trade. And the time was really chosen correctly and now my balance is $5,000 and I think I'll stop my trade here for today. So as you saw, most situations in the market really repeat themselves. And as you saw, the indicator really helped me define the borders of the price. But as you saw, I was mainly carrying out technical analysis first before being able to interpret the indicator. I was looking at the support level, at the resistance level, and the general trend of the price. And then I was looking at the indicator and then placing a trade. So that means that you need to carry a technical analysis first before you can use the Bollinger indicator but the Bollinger indicator really works well with the OTC currency pairs and also if you want to learn more about the Bollinger indicator if you have any questions if you have any comments about it I have a private chat in telegram channel I left a link down below the link down below is linked to my personal chat buy me with the code word money team and then I'll add you to this private chat so that you can be able to discuss anything you have about any other indicators or any questions that you have or you want to comment or you want to discuss with other members in the group and also i post there my trading signals and trading charts so that you can be able to practice as well and make some profit so thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate all your comments all your questions and i'm always happy and i'm always glad to answer them so don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not yet subscribed and also don't forget to share this video and also you can comment down below and also hit that notification button so that you can be notified in case there is a new video up so until next time bye bye